super hot. What's going on YouTube? What's going on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all platforms? Welcome to another Big Pass Sports Talk show. And today I'm going to be talking about True Big Blue Nation. Kadarius Tony may be back for the Kansas City Chiefs. He was a, a, a go at practice for the past couple of days. And he says he's feeling good and says he's ready to go against the Kansas City Chiefs. So we may have one of our weapons back. Sterling Shepard is a pretty much a guarantee to be back, but Saquon Barkley and Kenny Galladay are out. But having Kadarius Tony back means a whole lot to this offense. I believe Kadarius Tony, healthy, is our best receiver, hands down. Um, he's actually worked very well on his route running. He looks fast. He looks smooth. As long as that ankle holds up, he should have a pretty good day against that Chiefs defense. Um, with him coming back, that would be huge for us because he brings an element to our offense that we don't have, which is just dog playmaking ability. Sterling Shepard has that a little bit, but he doesn't have it like Tony. Kadarius Tony makes this offense that much more explosive. Uh, we can use him in a run game. We can use him in a pass game. You know he can do it in a, a receiving game. I look for us to give him some quick slants quick screens to get him the ball to get it get him in space and see what he can do against this Chiefs defense who that hasn't been playing well for pretty much the whole season um, if he's playing uh, this coming Monday which looks like it's pretty much gonna be that look for this offense look for this offense to get it going against the Chiefs man this guy if he's if he was playing from the beginning of the year that did not get hurt he would probably be right behind Jamar Chase as far as offensive rookie of the year voting because I believe he's that explosive. explosive. Only thing Jamar Chase really has over this guy is Jamar Chase route running is ridiculous. Um, man, Jamar Chase is just a, a, a absolute beast out there, but I believe this kid is, could be just as explosive, could get just as much stats, especially given time, especially given the opportunities. I believe this kid is just explosive. Um, uh, this kid's a hit, man. A lot of people didn't like the first round pick of Kadarius Tony. I was a little bit baffled about it as well. I thought we were going to go defensive line or offensive line. But I have to admit, man, I love this pick, man. Kadarius Tony is an absolute weapon. And we need to use him as such. Glad he's back practicing. I'm glad he's going to be back on the field. And I can't wait to see him and DJ build some more camaraderie with each other, man. Find out what Kadarius Tony likes. He gets out there, find out how DJ likes to throw the ball to him. And the more experience this kid gets, I believe the better he's going to be. I believe his ceiling is a Tyreek Hill with better route running. I believe this kid could be that explosive. And he's shown it. He's already shown it in, in, in this short short stint that we've seen him. He's shown it. It's also being reported that Joe Judge wants to involve him in the return game. Now, let me uh, speak about that a little bit. I don't mind him being in on punt returns. Because punt returns, that's a field position battle. If he could get that ball and get us 20 to 25 yards and flip field position, I'm all for it. But we just lost Jabril Peppers to ACL, and he was on punt returns. So I really don't want to see this kid be used in situations where he can get hurt. Use him uh, sparingly on the punt returns. Like if somebody's punting from their own 5-yard line, 10-yard line, put them back there. Because flipping that field position is very important. 
So I don't mind mind him being on punt returns. Now kick returns is a different story. No, I do not want him on kick returns. We need to keep Darnay Holmes or Dante Pettis or somebody back there on kick returns. Because kick returns, he could get injured uh, way faster than he can on a punt return. And let's just, just that turf period. I know uh, the report he said, Kadarius Tony said, I'll play on grass, turf, concrete, whatever. I like it. I like that dog that's in him. But we need to be cautious, man, because this turf is, 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 man, it's just snatching ACLs, just snatching ankles, snatching legs, man. This turf is killing people. Logan Ryan spoke about it. Um, hopefully we go back to natural grass after next season. But um, I just want everybody to go out there. Chiefs included. Go out there and be safe on that turf, man, because that turf is just claiming people, man, left and right. And it, it's not good at all, bro. It's not good at all. But back to Kadarius Tony. If he's playing this Chiefs game, man, I up our chances against the Chiefs up 10 to 15 more percent because I believe this kid is going to dominate the Chiefs. Like, he, like how he dominated the Dallas Cowboys, I believe he's going to dominate the Chiefs in that same fashion. If his ankle is okay. I will say this. If his ankle is only like 80% or 82%, I'll say hold him out another week until he gets to 100% because this guy is that valuable to this offense and he's that valuable to this franchise. Already you see it. You see you see the game changer in this kid. You can just see it. If you don't see it, man, you're blind. Man, that game against the Cowboys, that game against the Saints, man, he's making plays all over the field. He looks explosive. He's fast off the line. He's hard to contain. He knows how to maneuver his body after the catch to get past the first defender. And when he gets in an open field, look out. Look out. Kadarius Tony is an absolute monster. And hopefully he's healthy throughout the rest of the season. I still say this kid reaches over 1,000 yards total. Total from scrimmage, this guy, this kid should not have not, nothing less than 1,200 yards from scrimmage all around purpose yards every year. You got to find a way to use him. You got to find a way to get him in open space. That's why I like the quick screens to him. Run a little bit of Wildcat with him. With him. Don't do it often, but you can run a little bit of Wildcat with him, man. Throw, throw these defenses off. Make them, make them scared of his ability. Let him show. Let him show that that God given talent of being a human joystick. Put him out there and let him and let people see exactly what he can do. But that is breaking news. Kadarius Tony has been practicing pretty much all week, and it looks like he's a full goal to go against the Kansas City Chiefs. If so, I'm ecstatic. But if he's not, if he's not at least ninety to ninety five percent. It's going to be an unpopular opinion, but I would say hold him out another week. Do not put this kid back out there if you if you feel that he can re-injure that ankle in any type of way. If he's not cutting, if he's not able to cut the way that he cuts, if he's not able to maneuver the way he maneuvers, I hold him out another week. But this is a very important game, so I, I understand why this kid is getting hyped and he wants to go into the game, man. Sometimes he's one of those players you might have to save him from himself because he's going to want to play regardless of how hurt he is because he's just that passionate about the game and about his craft. And I love that about him because he, he's one of the dogs that we have on offense, him and, and Daniel Jones. Two of the dogs that we have on offense, Sterling Shepard. He's a dog too, but he stays hurt too much. But he should be back as well. So we should have a receiving core of Slayton, Tony, Shepard, Ross, Pettis. I believe that's going. Uh, that's what I believe that's who Daniel Jones is going to be throwing to in the receiving corps. Um, I think that's what I think that's good enough. I think that's good enough, man. That's better than what Aaron Rodgers had last night, and he still. Uh, I mean, Thursday night, and he still wound up beating the Chiefs. I mean, the Cardinals, who are undefeated. Great game, by the way. A.J. Green. Come on, man. <laughs> but with the receiving, receiving corp of Tony Shepard, Slayton, Ross, and Pettis, I believe we could do a little something in his offense. I believe we could do a little something in his offense, especially with that guy right there, Kadarius Tony, man. He is an absolute beast. 
and I can't wait to see him this Monday night. Going to be calling the game Monday night. Big Pass Sports Talk with Classified 3F Joe. Tune in Monday night. Monday night football. G, I mean, G-Man versus the Chiefs. Called by your boy, Big Pat. I'm saying the G-Man have a hell of a chance to come out with a victory. Play hard, play fast, play smart. And if you like this video, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell so you get more notifications to videos like this. Thank you guys for supporting Big Pass Sports Talk. Road to a thousand subscribers. We're getting closer. Get your merch. Merch is out. And until the next video, peace.